What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. I know I've had a ton of E90 content for you guys lately, but don't worry, the M3 and my F3335 videos will be coming back soon as I've got a lot of content coming for that stuff, so be on the lookout for that. In today's video, we're going to be talking about some sound system enhancements in Drew's E90-335i, compliments of the guys over at Bob Sound. We've got a care package from them. Once again, they've hooked it up. We're going to be installing a Stage 1 speaker upgrade in this car, as well as Ghost under seat subwoofers. So let's get on to it. All right, let's go ahead and unbox this. So Drew's current system is the base audio that came from BMW. Um, it's the BMW Professional radio, so it doesn't have iDrive or anything. It's basically their, their base level system. So this should be a huge upgrade for him. And again, huge thanks to the guys over at Bob Sound. So let's take a look and see what we've got. Everything's nicely packaged as always. Let's see, coaxial loudspeaker pair. So there's two in there. There's another pair of coaxial loudspeakers. And then we've got, this is a Ghost Underseat subwoofer, eight inch. So one for the driver's side and one for the passenger side. And they also give us some mid-range foam gaskets. So we've got a couple of those and that should be it. So there aren't that many speakers in this car currently. Um, we're not upgrading the amplifier. Their Bobson does not currently have a amplifier um, for this particular car with this particular sound system in it. So we're basically going to be changing out the speakers and adding the subwoofers here. Should be a nice upgrade for him considering the current sound system isn't really that great. So excited to see how this sounds. Bob Sound is a sponsor of the Accelerated Motion YouTube channel. I suggest you guys go check out their website, bobsound.com. They are one of the leading plug and play sound system solutions for BMW and Mini. So if you're looking to upgrade your sound system and you want a plug and play solution, look no further, Bob Sound. All right, before we get started, I just kind of want to show you guys what we've got going on currently. So again, this is the base sound system from BMW. This is the BMW Professional Radio. We are not going to be upgrading the head unit. Um, just know that. So as you can see, there is a speaker over there in the door, speaker in the door. There are no tweeters. So there's only one there, one there, and then two on the back. The back doors don't have anything, but there are two speakers on the back dash so one on that side and one on that side which is a little bit hard to see but i promise you it's there um that might be a harder install for us because we've got limited space but uh fortunately we're only taking off door panels on the front driver front passenger and then obviously we've got under seat subwoofer so we'll be removing the driver's seat and the passenger seat Recently here on the channel, I did a full install series on my E92M3 with a bunch of Bob Sound products. They sent me a Stage 1 speaker upgrade, the Revenant amplifier, as well as the Ghost underseat subwoofers. So I did a full series on that if you guys want to go check that out. Additionally, I also have some Bob Sound products to put on my own F3335. So that will be coming shortly as well. Okay, I'm going to open up these boxes and kind of show you what we have inside here. So these are the coaxial loudspeaker pairs. So these have a curvy linear cone, fiberglass weave, and silk composite dome. All right, let's see here. These look very similar to mine. Take another package here and show you guys. And look how pretty that looks. The back side, it's got a little bit of weight to it too. And we only have the one wire to deal with. Here is the subwoofer. So these do have a little break in period. Um, should be maybe about 12 hours worth of listening before they reach their maximum potential. But just the one simple plug. And these are the four ohm subs. So there we go. Let's get to this install. We're gonna be starting here on the driver's side. I've got some trim tools here. So what we need to do first is take a couple of them out. We need to remove this door panel piece, this trim piece here. You can use your fingers, but maybe just to get it going. Actually, I'm gonna use the trim tool, kind of wedge it in here underneath, just like that, and then kind of pry. Once you get one going, be able to just run your fingers along the bottom here and pull gently. So now we've got a couple Torx bolts here. We've got one, two, three that we need to remove. 
So get yourself a ratchet with a long extension. So these here are going to be a T15. Go ahead and unscrew those. At this point, the door panel is being held on by a bunch of clips that go all around the perimeter, basically. So I'm going to start in this corner here. It's a little bit easier to start here. I'm going to use this little trim tool and kind of wedge it in between just to prop it. See, it popped just like that. So I can kind of use this bigger one and kind of go around using my fingers at the same time. There we go. Don't really need the trim tools, but they might help. See, pretty simple. There's a bunch here, and then the door lock up here. So we pretty much right here is a bunch of metal clips that just kind of um, hold this section of the door panel in. So we just kind of need to give it a tug and pull this out, just like that. Comes right out. So be mindful that on the back side there are some plugs here. So here is the back side of the door panel. We can actually remove all these things and pull the whole door panel off. Basically grab this blue plug, pull out. Just like that. And then down here, this is the switch for the window switches down here. It's kind of a Molex plug, hard to see. I'll show you once I get it off of here. So the way this one works, so the way this one works, you can see the plug plugs in this way, and then there's this little bracket that slides up and locks it into place. So what you need to do on the back side, you'll see this little this little clip that you need to push. Once you push that, it'll actually slide that forward, slide it all the way out, and it'll release the clip. The bottom here is the light, so we can either unplug it, or what I'm going I'm to do is actually pull the light out of here. So, either unplug it or do what I'm doing and pull the whole light out. Alright, so that's more or less free. The only thing that's holding on to this door panel at this point is this door handle here, but I'm going to leave that intact. and. We can just go ahead and remove the actual speaker at this point. In this particular vehicle, it's got nuts. So these are eight millimeter nuts. Remove all three, it's already unplugged, so. So that's that, and just pull this right off. And there's the OEM one. Okay, so I do wanna point out here, that the speaker I showed you earlier is actually for the rear. So it's a tad bit smaller than the front speaker. I don't know if you guys can tell. Yeah, you can tell. And this one's a little bit smaller. So this is gonna be on the back rear um, deck. So just keep that in mind when doing this. So here is a comparison. This is the OEM one here from BMW and here's the new Bob Sound version. Uh, this has some paper cone filter. This one is much nicer. Um, you can tell the quality difference. Here's the back side. The new one versus the old one. So quick and easy, plug and play. Let's go ahead and reinstall. One other thing I want to point out with the new Bob Sound speaker is this actually has the um, rubber ring here, just like the OEM one. There's also this foam uh, piece here, so make sure you don't lose this because it does come off, but this is some anti-vibration stuff. All right, now we can go ahead and reinstall the new Bob Sound speaker. Get this into place first. Let's see, don't lose that gasket there. This only goes on in one direction here. Need to figure out how it's oriented. go nice tight fit and we can go ahead and reinstall our OEM nuts eight millimeter so when you tighten these down they don't need to be crazy tight because you are tightening into plastic 
I'm going to go in a cross pattern like you're, you know, doing wheels, lug nuts. That way you've got even pressure on all three at the same time. Okay, that's not going to go anywhere. At this point you can add some sound dampening as well if you'd like. So now we can take this plug here and go ahead and plug it back into this blue harness, the OEM one. It only goes in one direction. That's the fantastic part about Bob Sound is it's all plug and play. So now that we've got that into place, basically we just need to tuck this wire out of the way uh, and do some wire maintenance just to make sure it's not going to get in the way when we go ahead and reinstall everything. Um, so at this point, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug our, put our light back in here bottom. Okay, so we've got that there. And then we can go ahead and plug this guy back in here for the window switches. Again, it only goes in one direction here, so plug it in until it snaps into place. wires and then we can go ahead and reinstall the door panel. One thing I forgot to mention on this is to utilize the foam that they give you. So if you see the foam that looks just like that, pull the ring off, it's sticky on one side. So what I'm going to do is actually pull off the stickiness or pull off the back side of the, expose the stickiness and then we're going to feed the wire through. Right, so we fit the wire through and basically stuck the foam on the back side of the speaker. Just adds as a little extra sound dampening. Additionally, we have this other side of the ring here, which we could tuck inside of here. Or the, the other side of the foam we can actually tuck inside of this little pocket here. Um, obviously it does have some sound dampening here already, but might as well utilize the foam. So same thing, expose the stickiness and go ahead and put it in this little hole here. Just like that, make sure you pull your wire back in. Okay, reinstalling the door panel here. Make sure that this little locking mechanism is through. And then you can see these metal clips. One, two, three, four, five. Those just kind of push right into place. Once you've got everything lined up, go ahead and knock it all in. And the same thing with the clips that go all the way around. It should line up. Just kind of knock it in. There we go. Just make sure you don't have any gaps. Okay, so once you've got your door panel back, back into place, go ahead and reinstall your Torx screws here. Again, this is a T15. At this point, you can go ahead and reinstall your trim piece here. Just line up all of your mounting areas and should be good to go. Alright, so driver's door is a wrap. Super, super simple to install. The passenger side is going to be exactly the same way. Um, I will show you guys what to do with the rear now. Okay, so the rear is going to be a little bit harder for me to film, but I'm going to try my best to show you guys what we've got going on. But what I'm going to do first is remove these headrests. So squeeze this and pull all the way out. Alright, so the problem with Drew's particular car is these rear seats do not fold, so that's gonna make our life a little bit harder. He also does not have the pass through here, so. So unfortunately, we're gonna to have to work with these headrests up all the way and kind of make do. So I'm gonna push these up as far as they will go. And it's gonna be more trouble than it's worth to actually pull these out of here. Okay, so we're here on the driver's side. Hopefully you guys have a good angle of this. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my trim tool, I'm gonna to wedge it in between the speaker cover and the uh, fabric here on the rear dash. Just kind of jam it in here very carefully. 
and prop up and you'll see that there's a couple clips here just go all the way around there we go a couple of the sides these are kind of flimsy pieces of plastic also you want to be real careful with the mesh part here because uh, this will cave in if you push too hard so just keep that in mind when you're removing this but pretty simple Okay, so the only thing now is three eight millimeter bolts screws that are holding the speaker in, so go ahead and unscrew those. Okay, so now that we've got that unscrewed, we can go ahead and pull the speaker up here. Be mindful that it's still plugged in, so what we need to do is just same kind of blue plug that's in the front um, on the door panel so we just need to grab it and pull it off there we go here's our comparison of the crappy BMW paper cone filter versus the new nice looking Bob sound much nicer okay so now we're gonna go ahead and start off by plugging this wire back in so again this only goes in one direction and it's a plug and play so just go ahead and plug that guy in until it snaps into place and then we can go ahead and tuck the wire back down in here and there is already a bunch of foam inside of here so we've got some good insulation and some sound dampening there we go All right, so we've got that in there. Make sure you've got your little foam gasket down here as well. And same thing as the fronts, these also have this rubber gasket here. So that'll be good. And then go ahead and screw your eight millimeters back in. And when you're screwing these in, you wanna make sure you kind of do it crisscross pattern. Don't all, don't tighten all one side down. Just to make sure you've got a even seal Okay, so these don't need to be crazy tight because again, you're going into plastic. So just be mindful of that. As long as it's in there tight, not moving around, you'll be good to go. Now we can go ahead and replace our speaker cover. And again, don't push on the actual mesh part. Make sure you kind of push in the corner so you can see. Let me show you guys this. So here's what the mesh looks like. You'll see these little plastic clips all the way around it. So, start off with the back side first. So I'm gonna put the back side in first and kind of line it up and I'm gonna push on the plastic parts. So it pops into place. Now that side is a wrap. All right, so the passenger side rear is gonna be the exact same process, pretty simple, plug and play. All right guys, also quick update on the passenger rear. I went ahead and unscrewed this, right? And I picked the speaker up out of here and I'm like, man, why is it so light? And I pull it out and I unplug it and I'm like, well, what the hell? Okay, cool. So then I stick my hand inside of here. Oh, there's the other half of the speaker. So great, good job BMW. So this is probably a good explanation as to why Drew's sound system has been so terrible. Well, it's broken. So good thing we're installing all these new Bob sound speakers. So that pretty much wraps up the speaker install on Drew's E90-335i. If you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, please let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, we will see you guys on the next video. Stay tuned for the Ghost Underseat subwoofers. Should be a quick and easy one as well. Take care. Thanks for watching.